The creatures of Ark Survival Evolved. There's 505 of them in the game, with at least 5 yet to be released in Genesis Part 2. But what are the community's top 10 creatures in Ark Survival Evolved? You're right kids, it's Ras Clark, and the following is a top 10, voted for by you. I ran a few polls recently and we narrowed them down to this 10. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So in at number 10, the Megalosaurus, the great lizard in Latin. The sleepy dino that awakes at night, at least on all maps apart from Aberration, where it will remain awake throughout the day, is a fair decision by you guys, with it when being awake has the best base damage when ridden, as well as having the utility to carry a lot of things in its mouth, helping to tame and impacts can do some decent damage. It's certainly a contender for one of the more lethal dinos in Ark. In at number 9, the Denonicus, the first raise only tame to be breedable. Exclusive to Valguero, as you have to snatch its eggs, the fluffy looking raptor actually is more similar to a rock drake, having a plumage ability and being quite a good cave explorer. It also has the ability to latch onto larger dinos offering a bleed effect of up to 5% of their health. With a pack bonus to movement speed, damage and resistance, it's the only one that can apply a bleed effect to bosses. It's also the only one that's completely immune to fall damage, making it a good all-rounder for traversing the map and slaying its foes. In at number 8, the Therizino, the Tickle Chicken. Spawning in abundance on most maps with a non-threatening appearance that couldn't be more wrong as it's as tough as a rex or a spino. Nothing comes close to this fluffy dino by the sheer volume and wide variety of items the Therizino is capable of gathering, whereby you can level it in two types of harvesting, improving its power ability to harvest wood, meat, hide, chitin or poly, or its delicate ability, harvesting fibre or berries. It's also a great one for boss runs, being able to be healed quick with sweet vegetable cakes and has the ability to damage and kill riders with an alternative attack. In at number 7, the majestic snow owl that spawns an extinction in the snow biome. Possessing a swooping dive bomb attack and having the unique ability to freeze during which it will heal itself and others around it. It can also skate out your foes, making anyone hiding in the bushes no longer hidden. And unlike other dinos, it drops pellets, which can act as fertilizer and buff gachas in dropping loot. In at number 6 is the Utyrannus, the fluffy Rex relation, which in Ark lore is known to be the main mount of Nerva. It's the OG for buffing dinos in difficult battles, with a courage roar that temporarily boosts damage inflicted by 25% and reduces incoming damage by 20% making this a needed companion in the heat of a fight. It also possesses a fear-inducing roar which terrifies its enemy creatures, even when mounted increasing damage taken by up to 50%, with creatures at full fear fleeing. Pumped into health, it can be a great addition for your boss fights, and is one of the easiest ways to craft extraordinary kibble. And a somewhat useless fact, it's the largest dino to fit through a dino gate. Coming in at number 5, the Griffin, the Chimera with a lion's body. Originally found on Rag, but now of course on Crystal Isles, it's one of the few unbreedable creatures out there, but it has some fantastic melee abilities, with its dive bomb attack dealing 3 times the damage, and when diving and pulling horizontal, can execute an attack of up to 15 times more damage. It's a multitasker for carrying people away quickly, and being able to carry two riders, both that can use their weapons whilst flying, making it an aerial firing platform and an ease for taming from safety, for example chasing a Quetzal. It's also a great creature for getting in and out of wyvern nests and stealing those eggs as quick as you can. In at number 4, the Thycolio, the marsupial lion. Found in most redwoods on trees, it's the only creature to prefer cooked meat over raw. With the base health of a Spino and the damage of a Carno plus a powerful bleed effect of up to 5%, the Thyla isn't one to be messed with, being able to climb vertical surfaces and having a pence attack immobilizing its enemies. It's also a good choice for ground travel and running those artifact caves. In at number 3, the Argentavis, the Jack of All Trades. Found on most maps, it's the early metal farming companion, with weight reductions helping to move heavy goods. 
it's got great health and high damage output, whereby it can recover that health and stand with each kill, and a swarm of them is not one to be messed with. It can pick up a variety of creatures for ease of taming, and using a dode or an anki for farming, and kill whatever is in its clasp. It's also equipped with its own smithy, being better than the structure, due to having more inventory space, and the RG is able to carry two dinos at once. In at number 2, the Reaper King, the Xenomorph. Traditionally found on Aberration, but now of course on Genesis Part 1, whereby it's very unique in that you'll need to find a Reaper Queen out in the wilderness, take it down to below 2000 health and let it impregnate you, at which point you'll need to run to safety before it bursts out of your chest, making sure you get its extra levels along the way. It's by far the strongest mount, with a natural armour of 80% damage reduction, which is the equivalent to a 400 armour saddle, with a slight drawback of not being bred, but a great tank or army shredder, possessing a knockback ability to keep your foes at bay. It's pretty fast along the ground, with a matrix style jump, that can also be borrowed to hide and store your loot, or even ambush players, and possessing an acid shrapnel attack, that can drop flyers and slow your foes down. And before we get into number one, here's a special mention to the dinos that didn't just make the cuts. which leaves the most voted creature in Ark, number one, the Rock Drake. Straight out of Star Wars, the distant relative to the Wyvern, can currently only be found on Aberration, where you'll steal its eggs from the Drake Nest. It's the all-terrain transport, being able to glide, climb and swim. In fact, it's faster in the water, being able to launch out of the water into a glide. Possessing a cloak ability, it's great for caves with nothing attacking it and an unparalleled mobility on land and in the air, thanks to its ability to glide. Coupled with good combat prowess, the Rock Drake makes an excellent jack of all trades, especially in Genesis Part 1. It's also got a good weight for farming, it's going to be your go-to dino for surface runs, whilst also helping to seek out reapers, and it's one of the few dinos that possesses a tech saddle, being able to shoot elements at anything in its path. And there we go, that wraps up the list. Do you agree with this? I can certainly agree that every one of these creatures on this list are definitely useful. And I hope this helps someone out there being voted by the community. And if you don't agree, hit that subscribe button as we'll be doing a poll in the near future on the next top 10 list. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.